Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Cancer, and maybe the message is for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind these are general and timeless readings. Uh, everything is located down below in the description box, as you guys know. My website link, Instagram handle, all that good stuff. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you've just been here and supported the channel. Let's jump into the message here. Okay, okay. Pluto, huh? Alright, let's start with these cards. Let's not jump too ahead of ourselves. Okay, Leo just had this thing about responsibilities. Visioning. Grace. Hmm. So, looks like you're trying to find balance between responsibilities and blessings, you know? You could be trying to juggle a lot, make decisions, take care of the things that you know you need to take care of that keep you on a good frequency, and also work toward this vision. You're visioning. Maybe you received a vision, or some of you guys, this could be about dreams and grace. That's one of my favorite cards. So, you could be um, uh, like moving with grace. You know, trying to be graceful about how you handle a situation as much as possible. Maybe there's a delicacy to this. Okay, yeah. Shiz. So, yeah. We have, look at this. I did not make that up. We have the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords. And the Five of Wands in between. People are in some pain here. And it is very strange. I cannot believe that came out. You know what's super interesting is like in her deck, she only duplicated the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords. I find that very interesting how artists do things, little things like that. So her specifically, it, in your read, you have a definite masculine who's in pain and feminine who's in pain and there's some conflict here right in the center someone could be legit taking responsibility for something okay um but this is 100 percent talking about a connection two people are both in a lot of pain here there could be some conflict, maybe it's even competition, but this looks like straight up arguing about something specific. I'm going to say this. So there was something here about vision or there's something here about like a person that keeps like getting um, a vision about something or imagining something and it keeps making them like feel a lot of pain I don't know what that's talking about and we have the six of wands which can be talking about someone who's receiving attention someone who's in the spotlight for something uh, someone could be in pain over this there's the death card which can be talking about transformation Yeah. 
Okay. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. All right. So I feel like part of the issue is there's a person who could have, um, could be in the spotlight. Yeah. You could be cancer. You might, um, be in the spotlight in some way, or this is someone that you're dealing with, but there's a lot of pain around this situation. There's a person here that could be dealing with Pluto aspects, which means if someone like went to their Pluto line or do you know what I mean? It's like there's elements of scorpionic energy that are coming into this, which talks about power struggles. Someone could have gone through something significant here. If there was a whole power, power dynamic that was set up in this process, someone could have been put in a position where they were already elevated in some way. So it made someone feel very wounded by someone receiving attention. Like this could have brought up jealousy or envy and because people could be feeling like this person doesn't deserve attention because it looks a specific way or it has to be done a specific way. But this person, part of the reason why they're sitting in some kind of level of success is because they could have gone through a significant transformation. The death card is saying like, the death card is the self-mastery process of how you overcome a power struggle. And sometimes it can legit deal with a Scorpio or whoever sign. It doesn't matter the sign that's involved here. But it talks about like one's ability to master transformation in some form. Like if sometimes I can refer to this as like dead senescent cells and the process of um, like alchemy or like uh, getting those out of the body. That's like the literal tangible explanation of this. And that's why this person is sitting in a level of victory or receiving recognition because they could have overcome some kind of process here. Someone also could have gone through something really challenging where they got thrown out in the cold. I don't even think it was so much... I mean, it can be expressed in money or health. Those are interconnected, but maybe there was something here where this person felt left out and abandoned or they felt like they weren't good enough in some kind of situation but they could have um overcame that or they didn't allow themselves to get pulled into the power dynamic however that looks like i don't know if that makes sense but that's part of the reason why there's a person that's standing like has a competitive edge or is sitting one step above the five of wands. There are other energies here that feel like legit in pain over this. There's a lot of arguing taking place because in general, just that's what it is. Both people are in pain, both feel betrayed. There's the trust is broken here because both like this is complete mirroring 100% and then there's the ten of cups on the end so there's a person right here that's moving toward ten of cups all right I also feel yeah to be honest cancer this isn't going to be a very pleasant like process or something because it's about taking it's about responsibility and see your reading. So it's like, you could be just, you know, maybe you are taking responsibility for something at this time for this, whatever your involvement was, that could be something that is transpiring right here as you're taking responsibility for something. Maybe. It's saying that it would 
you probably get grace here from energies. Maybe this is what's kind of surprising because I feel like if this is how you approach the situation, you might get a lot of love fulfillment here. Here's the Ten of Cups and grace, which is like you're being enveloped in that. You're being given grace and or like energies are soft or um, gentle toward you. Oh, that's what it feels like to me. It's like you have a relationship where there's a lot of pain transpiring back and forth and you could feel a power struggle with this particular person. And someone even could be struggling with health issues. But that could have been the situation too. Is someone could have felt discarded and someone could have had to go through a significant transformation. Um... But it could have been all good. Maybe this was for the benefit. Maybe things weren't supposed to align here. There's this video. I think I came across somewhere in my feed that was like the signs of betrayal trauma. And I was like, yeah, it's like, um, that could be something significant that you guys want to look at if you want to look up that video. But the, this is straight up like heartbreak betrayal trauma things like that that could have been playing out i feel like that's been a huge cause of conflict here but you could have a family over here a ten of cups that knows you loves you is like very graceful and understanding towards you because they could understand a lot about you or um i don't know maybe there's even certain things too people just have grace for you in a particular way those are probably the connections that you want to stay connected to and want to be around um and I think especially there's something here about taking accountability for any discarding or, you know, people feeling left out in the cold. Someone could have gone through something like that, but they overcame it. That was a part of the process. This could have been, this can be rounds of this expression coming in because like, for example, if someone could have discarded someone and thrown them out in the cold when they were, when their health was struggling, or like, honestly, honestly, this is a person leaving someone for dead, like not really caring about, and part of the responsibility can be self-abandonment. That can absolutely be the case too. But there were a lot of things that transpired here. There was like, dishonesty, lack of communication, and things like that that were transpiring. And it's like, there could be something here about, yeah, someone receiving recognition that's causing pain for and a lot of conflict, I guess. There's a lot of arguing going on over here between two people. People are arguing about something, yeah, because like, there could be a tower coming. Hmm. Let me dive into the extended cancer. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see it over there. But Cancer, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in your next reading. Take care.